Well, Hurricane Nicole has weakened to a tropical storm after making landfall in Florida early this morning, carrying high winds, heavy rains, and flooding coastal areas as it moved north. News Nation's Xavier Walton is on the ground in Daytona Beach. Xavier, how is it out there right now? To put it simply, not great. I've covered a number of hurricanes, including Hurricane Ian, just six weeks ago, and I've never seen anything quite like this. Take a look over here, right? To the right, that used to be a pool. Not anymore. This used to be a home. If you look up, you can see inside of a, a bedroom, and then you're panning over here to the left. You see the kitchen. Um, and then we're going to keep walking this way. And note where we are standing right now, if you pan down, Kenny, I mean, we're still right here in the water. This is the Atlantic Ocean. And back up here, this house, you see that deck? It, it, those five poles are the only thing holding it up. The thing to the right of that deck, that's actually a pool. That's a pool being held up by those poles. And then over here on the right, you see the home. It has the boards. It has the tarp on it. Remember, this area got hit, decimated by Hurricane Ian. Uh, but the bottom fell out. And then when you look over here at the bottom, you know, you see the, the refrigerator. You see the toilet. You see the, the microwave. Th these are families' homes. And then as we come over here, Kenny, I want to paint this picture for people. Because this concrete slab here, this, what is, this is what is left of the seawall. This used to be a seawall. So think about that. 50 feet that way, the ocean Literally, Nicole wiped it away. Now, I spoke to a woman, doesn't even live here, and she says she is just devastated because this community is so tight-knit. Uh, she was down here just walking the beach almost in tears. That's how devastated she was. And when you see damage uh, like this and you pan around again, I mean, think about that. Beach erosion at its finest, and this is just terrible. Um, when you talk to people, they said, you know, we're going to rebuild, but I don't know how, they, uh, how they're going to do that. And, and Nicole, that, that, is, that is what people here, that is what families are dealing with. And, and honestly, you just have to feel for them. Yeah, absolutely. The pictures really tell the story out there. Okay, Xavier, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.